Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, this is just going to be quick, me going over the new update, and uh, talking about some of the, the new stuff that are here. Uh, so obviously, there is a new... Um, uh, uh, new pack, obviously, uh, which we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, but there's a new login reward. Uh, this, honestly, I... I like this icon. Is anyone ever going to use this at any point ever? No. But... It's cool. Um, so yeah, you can get some free packs and uh, 200 free gems just for logging in. Hip, hip, hooray. Uh, I believe you can now get ro the rewards for having chosen the correct team uh, or just like having chosen teams, right? Um, so there's that, which is cool because now you can uh, use those, uh, which we're going to go over as well. Uh, we have a whole bunch of, uh, hey, new solo mode. And of course, it is the uh, Terminal World. Dear Lanta, those stories are so funny. Anyway, um, we also have a few new packs. Uh, most notably, we have Ragnarika. I think that's probably the only thing that's really of note. Um, I think there may be a few other cards in here as well. Uh, new Lightsworn Gen X Aroma cards. There you go. Ancient Gear, Ragnarika, etc. Right? Um, so, you know, there's some stuff there uh we also have now a pack for the runic cards finally and uh i guess another pack for mana did they not already have a pack i thought they did uh and then shot through fiction has been updated to include borland boral code mirror force for some reason uh magic cylinder mirror force launcher magical cylinders and rocket coder uh, and then a bunch of uh, commons and rares. Uh, 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 wild. And um, uh, Mother's Nature Snare, which is the Trap Trick one. Got all of the Trap Trick cards. And then we also got the uh, a few Sylvan cards in there as well. And then, of course, the Worthy Adversaries also got some of the um, uh, Generator cards. And that's pretty much it in terms of the, the new stuff. We also have, of course, some new accessories, which we'll take a look at. And uh, new game boards, all of that jazz, right? Oh, immediately Gen X controller got uh, destroyed. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's quickly hop into the shop and uh, take a look at this pack and see exactly what we have here. You can apparently check out a dual live, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, here we have the Ragnarika. We have the Light Sworn stuff. And uh, <gasps> Black Oat laughs. Oh, finally. Let's go. This was not announced, but... Uh, Hey, let's heck and go. I'm super excited for this. Uh, Lightsworn Dragonling is the only UR Lightsworn, which is kind of interesting. I believe this technically is also part of Lightsworn, but I don't know if they actually even play this. I'm not going to lie. Um, we also have, a, well, I guess a technically Charge of the Light Brigade, also a UR. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I feel like the Lightsworn stuff is pretty reasonable in terms of rarities a lot of it you also get from the solo mode which is kind of interesting uh and then of course we have the uh the minerva as well the new minerva which looks pretty good uh ragnarika is honestly also not that bad honestly there's nothing yeah this is all like fairly good uh the the thing is like it's a ton of archetypes which means most of the stuff is lower rarity compared to like when they released um uh vanquish soul and stuff like that uh not vanquish soul well, yes, Vanquish Soul, but uh, Voiceless Voice is what I was thinking of. Uh, we have, you know, Gen X UR, we have the Aromas in here as well. Uh, to be fair, there's technically three Aroma URs here, but uh, <clears throat> they're not, you know, this one's not new. So there's that, and, uh, you know, what have you. Now, to be fair, if you were to play the Ragnarika stuff in the Plant Link strategy, aka Rika, um in the plant link strategy the fact that this is a ur does really hinder that in terms of pricing right because it becomes significantly more expensive so that's something to keep in mind if you do want to play the plant link stuff which is the best fit for the ragnarika cards there you go uh kind of tragic 
not really a whole lot that you can do about that. As far as ancient gears, I think it, you know two of them being you are is not terrible. I don't know. I've never seen this card in my life. I don't think this card is real. You cannot tell me it's real because uh, it's not true. Um, anyway, that's basically it for the new pack. Uh, we also got, of course, the updated packs right here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do some free pulls. What are we gonna? What are we gonna get? Like runic fountain or something? Yeah, we're not gonna get anything. Exactly. What the heck? Why are you here? Anyway. We also have the new, um, oh, of course, the new mana pack, which I get a blue eye. Why are you here? <laughs> Why is the blue eyes card here? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll quickly show you what's in here. Uh, nothing really too surprising. Uh, the fact that mana has the ability to have eight cards here. Well, I guess technically two of them are Vita, but beside the point, there's eight URs in here. That's crazy. And it's, it's just one archetype, technically, which is uh, wild. Uh, and then, of course, we have the uh, the, the Runic um, Generator pack. Uh, one thing I will say is that I've noticed they've started doing this to new packs, or older packs, by adding in, like, a second archetype that doesn't have that many URs to kind of put more URs so that you're less likely to pull these cards, um, which is a little annoying, right? Uh, but it does mean that now pulling for generator could potentially get you another archetype um instead of just like the random generic cards which uh, i mean it's give and take right <clears throat> but it's not terrible also i think generator still has a whole nother pack if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong don't quote me on that but i think they have a whole nother pack so if you still wanted to pull generator i think there's a different pack you could pull from um so there's that. We also have this pack, which I didn't talk about, which is the reprint pack, which has a lot of solid reprints. Uh, we have Lab reprinted in here. Well, more specifically, the traps, right? Uh, we have things like Boroland. We have uh, a bunch of the branded stuff. Actually, it's mostly just branded in here, let's be honest. Um, so there's that. Also, also, most notably, we got to talk about the ban list that happened, that just happened not too long ago, which is, simply put, uh, one of the greatest ban lists of all time. Which gave us back Wyvern Burster and put Bestial Druiswarm to three. Pog. Which means Dragon Link. Dragon Link. Dragon Link. That's right. We're going to be playing Dragon Link now. Once again, it's back, baby. You love to see it. I heckin' love Dragon Link. So I'm super excited to play that. Uh, now that Wyvern Burster is back. I don't know why they ever banned Wyvern Burster in the first place. That was very clearly never the issue. But alas, they did. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, let's quickly go over to the accessories, check out what else we have. We have this new forest of the trap tricks, which, hmm, don't know how I feel about this. As in, like, it doesn't look bad, but it's also kind of weird. I don't know, it's not my favorite. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm mostly not a fan of the colors. I, I really don't like that color of green. Dark green is, like, my favorite color of all time. That is not a good color of green. <laughs> green is very, very hit or miss. I do love this. This is a phenomenal wallpaper. No questions asked. It looks awesome. It looks so good. Uh, I might have to get this just because of the wallpaper and um, use it because, again, it looks great. Uh, this one's also pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to quickly be like, here's the stuff you need to know. And uh, I, I don't know. We, we still don't have the new events that are showing up the like dual trials and stuff like that but those should be sometime soon anyway um that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty bye bye shout out to the frost guard my members thank you guys so much for the support and hope you enjoy the content